Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you, how to design S letter logo and shield. As well as I will show you, how to convert the simple flat logo into the modern one. So, I think, if you watching the video till end, you will learn lot of things. So let's get started the video. First take ellipse tool and draw a circle. Copy the circle by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Now make it smaller by hold Shift and Alter. Now select two circle and go object. Then select blend and click on make. Now select blend tool and select specified steps and make total 6. You can take more as you need. Ok, that's good. Now go object, and select expand. Now select the circles, and copy it by hold alter, and keep it little bit distance like that. Now select the circles, and make it vertical align bottom and make a group I want to make a shield by the circle I think everyone knows how to make a shield by circle take line segment tool and draw a line equal to the circle side line Now copy the line by hold alter and make few lines by hold alter and pressing D. Now select all lines and make a group and rotate it 90 degree. Now select everything and make it middle align center and vertical align bottom. Ok, that's good. Now we are going to design our logo on the circles and lines. So select everything. And take shape builder tool. And turn on fill color. Now draw the design perfectly like that. When you are drawing your design on this lines and circles, you must be careful, otherwise you will make a mistake, and your design is not be perfect. So friends, I have completed my drawing. Now I'm making this logo a little bit stylish, I think, you can also do this on your design. So keep watching till end. First I take rectangular tool. And draw a rectangular equal to two lines like that. Go outline mood by pressing Ctrl Y. Now check that, is your rectangle equal to two lines, or not? I think, that's perfect. Select the rectangular and go object and select path and select split into grid and two two rows. Ok, that's fine. Now select the rectangular and place it bottom by hold alter. I think that's perfect. Now select these rectangular and turn off fill color and make it slightly larger and make it group now place these lines carefully here like that go outline mode by pressing ctrl y and check that is it perfect or not back normal mode by pressing ctrl y 
Again place the lines carefully here like before. I think, everything is fine. Now select everything. And take shape builder tool, and turn on fill color. And design like that. Okay, that's good, I have designed the logo perfectly. Now I need to move the design above from the lines. For that, select the design, and move it a little bit further. Now ungroup it. And again move the design. Okay, that's good, successfully moved it. Now delete everything without design. Okay, that's good. Now turn off stroke color. As we can see, I made a mistake. There are a few gaps in my design, that's why I told you, when you're drawing, you have to very careful. This problem is not a big deal, I can fix it. OK, I fixed it. Now select the design, and increase the stroke color. I think 1PT is perfect. Now go Object, and select Expand. Now go Pathfinder, and make it United. Now press Ctrl R to show roller, and put the roller line in the middle of the design. Now take rectangular tool, and turn on stroke color, and draw a rectangular like that. Go outline mode by pressing Ctrl Y. Now select the rectangular, and place it top of the shield like that. Now select both rectangular, and place it S letter top like that. Go back normal mode by pressing Ctrl Y. Now lock all rectangular by pressing Ctrl 2. OK, that's good. Now select the design, and take anchor point tool. And curve like that. OK, that's good. So friends, this is the today's video. How is the tutorial, if they helpful for you, kindly like the video, and let me know your valuable opinion in the comment box. 
Thank you.